Hello and welcome back to another Rightly Witterings. And today we're going to be doing one of those best of the week and worst of the week videos. So I've got a few things here, well a couple of things to look at here. And one is fabulous, one isn't quite so. So let's get on with it. That was a dog nudging my leg. This one. because she wants to go for a W-A-L-K, and no, I'm not going to say that word. But, back to the video. So, just to start off, that's a very sad sight. I finished my tea before I started recording. A quick update. Last week, you'll remember, I looked at the J. Urbain and Brandy Dazzle from Diamine, and I've been asked if I could just have a quick look at how the inks work in the pen and if you look here turn that over all the ink seems to have solidified or the particles seem to have solidified in the bottom of the pen let's just have a quick But it's not jammed the pen at all. It's still writing perfectly well. So even with all of those particles sedimenting out, if that's the right sort of verb, it works fine. So that's the J. Herbin, Cornaline d'Egypte, which is a wonderful ink. Now, we're not talking about inks today. We've got two rather fabulous products. First of all, this. I bought this some little time ago because I do like using my William Hanna notebooks, but the pages tend to be plain or dot grid or whatever. This, I thought, was a fantastic idea a stencil so that I could produce my own little flowcharts for stories. Works for me. I could put in a pencil symbol. I could put in anything I wanted. What a fabulous toy, I thought. That is brilliant. And then I saw on Instagram something else, which is even, well, not even more interesting, but it's fascinating too. Because I like my William Hannas, but I know of other people, strange folks that they are, who like to use things like ring-bound notebooks. You know who you are, the you people. And this I saw on Instagram, and I thought, what a fabulous idea. A little series of things that you can hook onto your spiral binding and then keep notes. So I contacted the company that makes these and they wrote back with some samples and here they are. This is a set of stickers. It says a handy tool for organizing your ideas and insights. Nice packaging, simple, one plastic envelope so you can see what's inside and then a cardboard sleeve make your creative spark shine brighter it says put sheets on the edge of your spiral binder stick one sticker through the spiral put another sticker at the bottom through the spiral and you suddenly have a bit of paper that can be stored so, I haven't tried these before, as you see, I've just opened the packet, but let's see how it works. So, here's my bit of paper. Oh, that's neat. It's actually Velcro sealed, so you can seal it properly. And inside we have one, two, three, four, five stickers. Now it says there's five there, and it says there's 50 stickers per pack, which I think is rather good. 
Interesting. So, I think what it said was, I'm just going to uh, have a look again. It says, align your sheet of paper with where you want it to go. So that's aligned. Stick one sticker clip through the spiral binder. I see, right, okay. So you've got one of these. So you stick it through your spiral binder onto your bit of paper. And then you take the other one, the right hand one, and stick it up, because they don't like it up on Mr. Mannering, from the bottom, like that. And then your piece of paper has been magically, it's getting caught on the old bit of paper there, but that works well, it flows fine, and all of a sudden you can reinsert your bits of paper. So you can go out to a series of meetings, take your meeting notes, stick a couple of these on, and all of a sudden it's in your notes permanently. Now I don't know about you, but that strikes me as an absolutely genius invention that is going to be fabulously useful for an awful lot of people. You need two of these per page, so that means the 50 stickers will do 25 pages. I'll put the pricing down the bottom now so you can have a look at it. And they don't just make these simple sticky things, they also do these, which are reminder tabs, they call them. And you can get these little note, which you slide in the top and the bottom of this tab. And then you can write your notes in them and dispose of the bit of paper. No doubt you could cut your own bits of paper down to size. It doesn't look as though it's an enormously difficult task, does it? But it does mean that then you get um, a note tag sticking up at the top. You can write whatever heading you want in that and away you go. They also do rulers, which look perfectly useful. Again, they have these... Uh, hooks so that they fit onto your spiral binder and there's um, dividers that you can use too. So basically it means you can convert any spiral bound notebook into a really effective usable file and what I really like is with these apparently the company went into a lot of effort to design the tags with a type of glue that's removable so it's a bit like a post-it note you don't just use it once and then that's your thing gone you can take them off and re-stick them on other sheets of paper and you can move them around so it's a bit like having an Atoma or a William Hanna type notebook so that's interesting and now let's come to the second item of the week now I must admit I didn't actually buy this this week I bought it some years ago, but I've never spoken about it here, partly because it's embarrassing. The thing is, this is superbly well manufactured. It's been, I, I would guess, cut out with a laser to produce these really perfect images, as you can see, as long as they're not too bright with this lamp on them. So you've got these perfect cutouts, such as this video camera. Now, let's just have a look at how good these stencils actually are. Here I have my Kum pencil sharpener. Just going to sharpen up this. Oh, this Bally Faber Castell really doesn't like being sharpened. I suppose it is a fairly cheap pencil. Now, this is a very sharp pencil point. Let's now do an image of this video camera. There's that, there's that. Let's do an image of this house with a chimney. Now I think I demonstrated this pencil is really very pointy and sharp. You are not going to get a better picture. And yet, Yes, I've got a house. Yes, I've got a video camera, but I would expect 
a video camera to have the triangle at the front at least as big as the square behind. But it's not, is it? And the reason is these cutouts are cut perfectly. I'm just going to move it to a plain bit of paper so you can see the cutouts better. There we go. Now these cutouts are really precisely cut, they are perfectly cut, to look right on this stencil. And that means anything you put in them, whether it's a very sharp pencil or a 0.03 Copic multi-liner like this, you will have... And I'm going to demonstrate it on a bit of paper here, because I've got a bit of paper here. You'll have the problem that the stencil from the side looks like this. So you've got a cutout here, paper underneath, and whatever type of pencil or pen with a nib you put on, it can never get flush with the side of the stencil, can it? Because the stencil is square-sided. It's cut perpendicular to the metal. So anything you do will always be in a narrower gap than the gap of the stencil itself. So let me just show you what that means. It means if, for example, I use a very fine liner indeed, and they don't come much finer than 0.03 millimetres, then from above you can see, I think, lifting this up, that the image produced by the pen is inside the image that's actually cut out of the stencil. So if I look here at the fingers, for example, it's quite difficult doing this while the stencil's held up in midair. But there you go, that's that. And then we'll also look at this, a symbol of a pencil. That should be easy enough, shouldn't it? So how does it look? Well, the pencil, the point comes out as a dot because there was nowhere to get that triangular position. The back end comes out as a square. And I've got to fill in that bit because it didn't come out very well. But you look at the finger. Yes, it sort of works as a hand with an upwards pointing finger, but actually you'd want it to be much more that size with a rounded finger, wouldn't you? So the stencil has been cut to look as the image should look, which means that the image you're going to get from the stencil every time is going to look naff. So that was, to my mind, one of the very worst, silliest purchases I've ever made. Stencil looks wonderful, actually useless. On the other hand, something that looks, well, you know, not really very interesting, I think is a piece of absolute genius. Not only because it works really well on this, but also because you can get multiple different colours. You can get green ones, you can get blue ones, all sorts. And I think they're truly fabulous. Really, really good. So what's good about them? Basically, you can stick them on any bit of paper and the bit of paper becomes an integral part of your spiral bound notebook. You can take the, the pages out and move them around. You're not stuck with them in any one place. So it's a bit like having an Atoma or a William Hanna. You can just pull them out and reinsert them where you want. Brilliant. And then when you've got bored with that bit of paper, you can just take these tags off, I am assured, and then reuse them on a different bit of paper. Which is just fantastic. Ooh, that's very badly positioned. Let's just put it back there. That's better. Which I think is just fantastic. A really inventive, brilliant piece of work. 
and I am indebted to this wonderful company, Clipmatic, which was set up apparently by a student architect who had this idea for taking notes more efficiently while he was a student and has spent the last few years creating a company so he can manufacture these things. And he's now employing four people. Well done, matey. And I think this definitely gets my vote of the week. Whether you want to be able to just move pages around, whether you want a ruler, whether you want um, a reminder note type thing, they really have got the lot. I'll put a link down the bottom so you can go and have a look at them, but yes, highly recommended, whereas this is a joke. <laughs> And there you go. What I can thoroughly recommend is do not touch a stencil that looks like this because it won't work. It will look beautiful when you look at the metal and the images it'll give you are rubbish. On the other hand, Clipmatic has got a very interesting set of items and I think they would be extremely useful for anyone who doesn't use Atoma William Hanna type notebooks but instead wants to stick with spiral bound types. Very impressed with the products. I was also extremely impressed with their response because believe it or not I happened to be sitting on a beach on Saturday and I saw an advert for these and I thought that looks really quite interesting. So just out of interest I sent a note to the company I had a reply within the hour and then they posted these to me on Monday and I received them on Tuesday. I'm now recording this on Wednesday. I'm very impressed with that. Good products and the company's obviously working hard. So apart from that, not a lot going on. I'm just writing a lot and trying to get a book written. I'll be going back to that shortly. So hope that was interesting. Do please let me know if you've got any comments down in the comments section. And apart from that, subscribe, hit the bell button, like it, share it, tell your friends, all that sort of stuff. And I'll look forward to seeing you soon. And there's no funny comments to make now. That's really it. Thanks a lot. Bye.